There are all kinds of competitions that'll get your heart pumping and your lungs screaming. But only one requires pushing a perfectly good Land Rover across a field at 9,000 feet elevation. This is where you need to dig a little deeper, focus, and concentrate. This is at the heart of Land Rover Trek. Forbes Trinchera Ranch in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in southern Colorado is the setting for the fifth Land Rover Trek. Trek was designed to test off-road driving and adventure skills. It's a competition that's only open to people who work at Land Rover dealerships. So that's part of our number. They're not professional athletes, but this event really appeals to their sense of adventure. Land Rover created Trek to help them better understand the vehicles they sell and service every day. In other words, to do a better job. It really gets them pumped. Good. Now, most of the competitors have never done a Trek, but they've been drawn to it by the buzz it's created over the years. The competition is made up of eight events staged over one very long day. It all begins well before dawn in an event called Service Drive. First, they have to find their hidden Land Rover discoveries using GPS, then complete a series of tasks as they move their vehicles 400 yards across a field. Go! With no rest, it's five hours of rotations between four events. This is Land Rover Cross, an off-road version of Autocross. Yeah. Trek Trials requires precise driving through a series of gates marked by poles. It's a lot more difficult than doing it on level ground. Normally, a time-speed distance rally is staged on smoother roads, but this is Land Rover, and the event is called on-time delivery. And this is orienteering, getting from point to point using a compass or GPS bearings with a Land Rover twist, requiring vehicles, feet, and mountain bikes. The teams come back together for a mini triathlon called the Solihull Cup Regatta. It requires a lot of GPS work to find equipment and finish the event. The grand finale is called the Trek Test Drive, the toughest competition of the day, as teams go head-to-head -head on a diabolical obstacle course conceived by Land Rover's Bob Burns. 39 teams have competed in Trek trials over the past two weeks. The winner of each of the six trials has now returned for the championship. Trial number one brought together teams from Land Rover dealers in Canada, the U.S., and Mexico. For the first time, Trek had a family team, the D'Alessandros from Land Rover Metro West in Toronto. Canadians Chris Kutras, Corey Smart, and Arc Arduini from Land Rover of Richmond came out on top. Teams from the northeastern U.S. came for trial two. A sudden rainstorm served as a reminder that adventure comes in many forms. So I'd never done the 40 parties or the... I'd never slept in a tent before, but you know what? Awesome. The veteran team from Shelburne, Vermont's The Automaster made it to the finals in Trek 99. Veteran Kurt Shangraw led his teammates Greg Skelton and Michael Parker to repeat here in Colorado. In trial three, members of the six teams from the Mid-Atlantic and Chicago regions included several Trek veterans who returned to see what Colorado would hold. 9,000 feet, logs that weigh 200 pounds. <laughs> I'm doing just fine, I can hang with any of them. A consistent performance by Mike Tubbs, James Perot, and Peter Donnelly from Land Rover Naperville bought them a return ticket to the finals. Teams from California and Colorado squared off for trial four. Denver South suffered a last minute substitution. Trek veteran Kirby Garrison stepped in and helped teammates Dan Moore and Dean Cruz pull out the victory. On to trial five. Eight teams from the South, including defending champs Land Rover Greenville. They went head-to-head -head against two former Trek champions, North Point and Buckhead. During the triathlon, North Point's Justin Allison took a header off his bike, dashing their hopes for a repeat. But his teammates chose to carry on. <laughs> this is for Justin and North Point. We're not going to give up. Uh, despite a valiant effort, the tasks for the two men proved too taxing. The team from Land Rover Buckhead took four first places during the day, earning Tim Rocket, Trey Black, and Kenny Fisher a berth in the finals. Trial six from Minnesota, Texas, Utah, and Oregon. 
It was the fastest triathlon of the trials. Wayne Pazinski, Ryan Krause, and Ross Corey from Land Rover Eden Prairie copped five first places during the day and earned the right to come back for the championship. After two weeks of regional trials, six winners are now ready for the finals. Well, since defending champion Land Rover Greenville didn't make the cut, can Land Rover Buckhead repeat for a second championship? Or will a new team dethrone the powerhouses from the south and become Trek champion? We'll find out when the action starts on our return. <laughs>